Today I will be presenting for the technology project on the website and application Canva. Canva's purpose is empowering the world to design. They want to make design accessible and user-friendly to all, no matter what your design capabilities are. Canva is a graphic design website and app that offers free tools to easily create your own digital media. As I stated, it is free, but like most websites and applications, there are additional graphics that cost money or you can upgrade to a pro option. That is probably good for people who own their own business and they're using graphic design tools a lot and need it on a larger scale. Or if you're a graphic design student, you also might want to use that as well. You can download Canva as an app on your phone, tablet device, or as a website on your computer. That is my preferred choice because there's just a larger screen to work with and I feel like I can toggle between different things when I'm using it. Canva can create many different designs, including posters, flyers, logos, videos, presentations, timelines. Truly, the options are endless. You can also make business cards on there, birthday card invitations, you name it, it's probably on there as a template. The uses for Canva vary. You can make project designs. So in doing this, you can make projects that are really visually pleasing, bright, colorful, fun, and you can insert many different pictures into there on already existing formats. So it's very simple to use. There's also a really neat feature that's a design school, and there's an entire section devoted to training and teaching people how to design using Canva effectively. So if you have questions or you want to sharpen your novice design skills, you can go on there and find many different tutorials and lessons to help you do that. There's also many different classroom tools that you can use in Canva. So Canva offers lesson plan templates, seating chart tools, and many other creative ways. So if you're into having fun, bright graphics within your classroom or offering that to your students, it's probably on there for you to use. So here's just a few examples of my designs from this semester from this class. So one is the technology timeline I did, and the other is the content of an IEP. So again, I'm pretty new to this, but I've been having a lot of fun, and it's just bright and visually pleasing, and you can also download it onto your computer as a PDF, so it's really simple to upload to D2L or to use in your classroom or printing purposes. So now I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on Canva. So here we go. I am, let's see here, going to Canva. So all you're going to do is go to canva.com if you're going to use the website. Otherwise, it'll be an app on your phone. So I personally log in with my Google information. It's just easier so I don't have to remember a whole ton of different information. So you can design anything. As you see here, there's tons of different design options. And so for this purpose, I'm going to design a poster. So I'm going to click on poster right there. And from here, you're going to see a bunch of different templates. So if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different templates that you can use. You can insert photos, elements, just different graphic elements, text, videos, background, you name it, it's there. So I'm going to do classroom rules. I figured this is something that we can use in our classroom, say, in the beginning of the year when you're creating all your different um, expectations and rules for your classroom. So as you see, it's right here, and it says classroom rules. So you can easily type in here, click on it, type your own rules. But I'm going to keep those since we're on a time crunch. But just so you know, it says Mrs. Wilson's fourth grade. Well, I'm not Mrs. Wilson. I'm Mrs. Reichel. So what I would do is type in Mrs. Reichel, and that would create my classroom rules. So if I wanted to add different rules, I could do that. I could also add a page to create more rules, and then I would just have a template. You can then download it. You click that, and you download it and turn it into a PDF. And if I go back to page one, let's say I wanted to insert a picture. I could go here, 
and I'll search apple. Okay, so I'll take that and insert it, and then you can make it small to fit in there. And there you go. It's a really fun, simple tool, and I hope that you can use it in your classrooms or with your school projects. And then you can, it will automatically save to your home. So next time you go in, it'll be there ready for you, or you can download it to your desktop. Thanks, everyone.